This is Justin Loman reporting for CNN. We're here live on the Iraqi air grounds that have been bombed and abandoned for 70 years. <laughs> Being a reporter for CNN requires me to be absolutely mad! Ow! Ow! Here we are, Colonel Gaddafi's compound. Okay, we have to kill the deer with airsoft pellets. You can see here where American airstrike missiles have taken out the building on one side. Here we are. There's one of Gaddafi's men right now. He's running away from our car. So okay, let's take Aaron and check this Ladies and gentlemen, this is Justin Liu reporting for CNN. I'm here live with the rebel encampment and Colonel Jack Boa and his team. Apparently they're preparing for invasion. Yes. Excellent fortification, gentlemen. Yes, excellent fortification. You see the strategy involved in this. Ah, yes. Colonel Jack Boa, how long have you been with the rebel captain? Too long. I'd rather not remember. Incredible. A white, British sounding Nigerian. They took me when I was young. They put a gun in my hands. Ah, you can smell his rage. You can smell it like B.O. <laughs> like B.O. Better not stay on my six this whole time, man. It's the strangest strategy. Apparently he's telling me to stay on his six the whole time. Stay off my six, damn it. Hmm. Strange foreign language. Strangely, he sounds exactly like me. Oh. What do we have here? Get off his men. Let's see if he'll shoot me or leave me alive. Apparently he wants to leave me alive so I can keep recording this for CNN. So we got one in this front right room. Okay, they know where they are. I got point. You go right. She'll, okay. she'll write it, she'll write it. This must be Gaddafi, judging by his brown skin. Looks like Colonel Boa's in a bad spot. Oh, wait a minute. That's three. Is that, is that two then? Colonel Gaddafi has an incredibly bad sunburn. He must have been farming earlier. One. Someone. Someone's running across the room. Incredible strategies. Oh, I almost got killed. What's going on? Know, that's one. CNN is so exhilarating. I love this job. This must be one of Gadolfi's henchmen. That's three for you! That's three! Colonel Jack Boa, how does it feel to be dead? Do you flash that sound How does it feel to be dead, Colonel Jack? I feel like just trying to get in the room. Start. I think that door was going to open. Uh, Which one? It was a little frustrating. I got locked in a bathroom. Oh, that is true. And I uh, felt alone, but uh, I knew I wasn't. Uh, these guys kicked, grabbed these, sh uh, these shields. And I think they're better than that. Do you believe in heaven or hell? I can't tell the difference right now. Are you a Muslim? No. All right then. Because I was going to. No. <laughs> Terry Ho. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, on whose side are you? Are you on Colonel Gaddafi's side or Colonel Jack Bauer? Oh, how wonderful you're picking up the ammunition. Very resourceful. Excuse me, Mr. Rebel. 
How does it feel to be on Colonel Jack Bowen's team? Get on the face. Oh, incredible. I don't have time for that. Incredibly rude. Time for killing, that's all. I, I love how rude they are to me. It makes me feel like the days when I was a paparazzi and Britney Spears hit me in the face with a high heel. Colonel Gaddafi, do you have an excellent strategy this time? Well, you see the strategy is catch him in the crossfire. <laughs> you got one guy shooting from this side. And then you got another guy shooting from this side. <laughs> and then you catch him in the crossfire. Well, it's simple. It's simple. Mr. Crossfire. Mr. Gaddafi. Crossfire. Are you drunk? I, have, you been con have you been consuming alcohol? Crossfire. I just want to know about your strategy one so, on I can, right. so I can broadcast it one live. Shoot me in the middle. I want to inform the American military of your strategy. Please tell me so I can broadcast it live, worldwide. No more, no more questions. Oh. There goes a very brave man. A very brave man indeed. All right, let's go. Hop on. Uh -oh. set. This must be the medic, judging by the Red Cross and a wounded soldier on his back. He's a brave man. Carrying his paw, a little wounded soldier. Practice on, though. Go ahead. Okay. I'm gonna hit you. You wanna hit me? <laughs> oh my goodness! Okay, right here. Oh! <laughs> he was ready for that. It's locked and loaded and ready to go! Ready? <laughs> Good evening, sir. This is perhaps the rudest Libyan I've ever met. Must be a mercenary. A mercenary from Australia. It's going down all of them. I will never miss it. Haven't even one breath. They look at me, they die. <laughs> Incredible. He might kill me at any moment. This is the best job on the planet. It's a good thing you're the UN. Or else your head would be no more. It's incredible. I'm being shot at. I've been hit once in the stomach and once in the chest. This is exhilarating. I love this job. Dude, it looks like you. But it looks like the, the little midget is actually chasing the medic and shooting him in the leg. Incredible. An incredible exchange for his earlier philanthropy. Now, because I have broadcasted their strategy live, Colonel Gaddafi's men must know that the rebels plan to invade from the roof. Yeah, Little Mr. Libyan, what do you think of this invasion? <laughs> He's smart. He knows I'll broadcast it live across the whole world. Come now. Tell me your strategy. Tell me your strategy or shoot at me because I love it. Should I get him? Want me to get him? Oh, oh, I love this job. It hurts. I love pain. Off this job. Colonel Jack Bowie, ladies and gentlemen, for the rebel forces of Libya. Free Libya! Free Libya! Got two here. Ben, he has spotted two. <coughs> it appears that he's calling my wife. I don't know how he knows. I don't think she's on good I've got to. Oh, yeah. I've only got 12 hours left. Oh my gosh. He must President. Be some sort of suicide medication. He knows he's going to die. It's Gaddafi himself. It's Colonel Gaddafi. Oh my gosh, Colonel Gaddafi, how do you feel? How do you feel about this invasion? Oh my gosh, it's a chance of a lifetime. Colonel Gaddafi, do you have anything to say about the, about the Libyan invading rebels? Oh, oh, so it's I just got shot in the shoulder, so exhilarating, I love it. Oh, yes. Oh, it's one of the rebel forces. I knew they'd betray me. They're probably really angry because they broadcast the strategy of the whole world. What do we have here? What is that? What do we have here? Ah, yes, it's that philanthropist medic has midget friend. Extraordinary. Oh, 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 I just got shot in the face. Oh, my God. Oh, I just got shot in the head. It feels so good. I love it. Ah! Oh, oh. Ah! Oh. That, that midget is laughing at my pain! He's so adorable! Excuse me, Mr. Australian Mercenary. 
Someone is calling you. I know I'm not on your team. Oh, that was a scary look. Oh, you must hate British people. It's probably because we dumped all the Australians off on that island. And he's still resentful of what we did to them in history. He probably wants reparations. I love pain! That's why I work for CNN. Yes. Yes, I was in Iraq when they invaded it. I was in Fallujah. I got shot 37 times. 38 of those times. It's by American forces. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if this was an American mask. It looks very American. Questioning, sir. Would you be willing to conduct an interview in the middle of this fire? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. The invading mercenaries. Ah! Oh my gosh. I'm caught in the line of fire once again. It's between Colonel Gaddafi and a philanthropist medic. Oh. That large mercenary is running after the American and got off he. <laughs> Dude, you had to be shot three times by now. Or or you, can <laughs> you, can you can hear something. You can hear it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. It's that medic. Hey, that's three for you, Will. The medic. Dude, that's Will three. is shot like eight no, times. No, he zigzagged. He zigzagged. Hey, Will, that's three for you. That's impenetrable run away to bed. Come with me. Okay? <laughs> We're just going to go like this. Mark, okay, stay behind the screen. So we're just gonna watch. Incredible, I've done this job. Don't do that again. Never do that again. This medic knows what he's talking about. He's trying to protect me. He's a philanthropist. CNN, no firing. It's only me. Walter Cronkite's worst enemy. Stop so I'm just shoot you in the face. Uh, you already shot me in the face once. <laughs> You're lucky I'm still alive during your reporting. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh. Incredible. Hey, get away, Justin. Get out of the way, Justin. Oh. Oh my goodness, six Oh my goodness, six these men are incredible, incredibly gifted. Incredibly gifted at dying and shooting things, and dying, and coming back to life. And... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> incredible. Did he hit you once? Twice. Did I really? Yeah. No way. Oh, yeah. One headshot, and one finger. Seriously. And so it ends, I actually, ladies I and gentlemen. I heard the one here. <laughs> Colonel Gaddafi's yeah. rule over Libya is over. You get out, get out. Of no, no, just, uh... Are we doing it all at the same time? Kay. William! Incredible. Is that it? <laughs> Jeremiah! Incredible. He's lost his weapon. What is he gonna do? He's gonna die! Keep going. Finley! David! Oh my gosh! Finley! Alright! <laughs> Oh, my love handle! It hurts so bad. Stop! Stop! Damn it! You guys! You're killing me! Where's Aaron? Damn it! Will you get out here? <laughs> oh! All his ammunition! Oh, that really hurt. And Bo! Bo! Incredible. Absolutely.
How you feeling? Oh, my God. How you feeling, yeah, Justin? Yeah. Like it's going I'm feeling betrayed. <laughs> betrayed. <laughs> like, I Isn't there a ceasefire? How you feeling? Oh, my God. How you feeling, yeah, Justin? Yeah. Like it's going I'm feeling betrayed. <laughs> betrayed. Like, I didn't know Isn't there a ceasefire agreement between CNN and Libya? <laughs> you evil, mean mercenary! Haven't you heard of all the people who've been shot? <laughs>